you know what that film is? Put in the comments if you do. Are you a fan as well? It is one of my favourite films. Um, but anyway, yeah, my hair is not dyed. It is slightly damp and in bad condition. But yeah, I've just got out of the shower. So my hair is normally blonder than this. Um, but if you are new to me today, I make motivational videos on this channel. I have been through a hell of a lot of shit. And I'm trying to inspire people to never give up. Um, you know, so subscribe for motivation and also I'm probably gonna go back to making music very soon um, This video is about me being gay. I am a lesbian. The title probably gave it away um, And this video is a, you know about what it was like for me being gay in prison And um, if you are interested in finding out more about prison and um, what it was like for me in prison I've made a whole complete playlist of about six videos and you can cl click that here um, but yeah, I'll start off by saying, you know, I don't feel personally my sexuality really was an issue at all when I was in jail. This was about five, six years ago. Um, I didn't feel like I ever got bullied because of my sexuality. I didn't feel like people were, were funny to me because of it. I didn't feel alienated because of it. No, it never really got mentioned. Um, it was accepted. And that's the way it should be because, you know, who people fancy or get off with or love is, you know, none of anyone else's business, you know, um, everyone's equal. I did see a lot of people getting, you know, coupled up. Um, it seemed to me even within a couple of days of people being in there, they were like, oh, she's my girlfriend or, you know, that's my girlfriend or she's my partner or, you know, whatever. And it seems to me more of a, a coping mechanism sometimes. Because, let's face it, it's, it's difficult doing a long prison stretch, you know. And if you're not with someone or even have a best friend in there, it's extremely lonely. And I can imagine that. I couldn't imagine doing a, a life sentence in a prison. Um, although I have done a hell of a long time in a mental hospital, you know, being abused. And you can read more about that link in the description. Because my memoir is coming out soon. Um... But no, I mean, there was, a, there was a lot of jokey stuff, though. There was a lot of people saying, oh, you know, she's she's gay for this day. Or, you know, she's, you know, that cop thirsty, she's gone pussy hungry. And stuff like that, like, which is basically, you know, if you don't understand that saying, what it means is normally she would ad identify as straight, but because she's been in prison for so long and been cop style for so long, she has gone the other way. Um, I don't know, I'm not like that, so I don't know, I can't really comment on that, so how many people that is the case for, but for me, yeah, I was, I was flirted with quite a lot when I was in prison, um, I don't know why, because, you know, no, nah, I'm just kidding, I, I looked okay in prison, um, I, yeah, I did have sex in prison, I'm not gonna lie, I did, yeah, um, in the showers, um, you know, there was a cute woman in there, and we got on and we had some fun. Not wrong with that. Um, it is what it is. Um, but I, what comes to mind is the fact that how many men in a, a, a male prison are gay and can't express that. You know, my heart goes out to them. You know, the fact that there's this real toxic... You know, you, being gay is not hard, you know, being gay, all that bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, someone's sexuality does not come into if they're hard or not, you know what I'm saying? Like, or if they can look after themselves or not, that's just... But being gay in a man's prison, I've heard, is a very dangerous thing because you're going to get beaten up and tormented. And I think that's terrible. I think that's horrible. You know, I thought that we would move past that, but... It seems that, you know, in that world, it's just not acceptable. And that's sad. Um, so, like I say, you know, I can't comment on that because I'm a woman. But in a woman's prison, nine times out of ten, if you're a lesbian, it's not going to be a shock to anybody because a lot of people are already gay in there. Um, and I felt grateful for that. Like I felt like, oh, well, I feel accepted for that in here. Um, yeah, 
it, it was okay in that respect. It was, I fucking didn't like prison. Um, it's better than a mental hospital, but my sexuality wasn't an issue. Um, and that's the way it should be. But yeah, um, if you've got any other questions um, about prison, uh, I suggest you watch this playlist. Um, but yeah, it was just a little short video to answer a question that somebody asked me. Having a good day, uh, never give up. Peace and love, love and light. Never give up the fight. Michelle Therese. Adios.